After you've outlined all the segments, it's time to extrude them into geometry. I'll select one of the wall segments and assign the extrude modifier. The amount should be equal to the wall thickness and you'll have to pay attention to which side the wall extrudes on. In this case I need a negative amount here to get the wall to go on the side that I need it to. You can copy the modifier to the clipboard, select another segment and paste the modifier. That's one way to do it. Again you'll have to tend to the sign of the amount this has to be positive to get the segment to go where we need it. Another way you can um, copy and paste modifiers is just by dragging them and dropping them. That's even more direct. Now that's correct. I don't need to change the sign of that particular segment. I'll drag it out here and drop it on that segment. again. This time we need to use a negative value. Notice that the modifiers are unique. They're not instanced. In that way each segment can get a different sign if it needs to to control which side of the wall it extrudes on. Let's extrude this last segment here. And then we also need to extrude these oblique walls but they're going to have a different amount. Let me select one of them and extrude it up but this time instead of using the wall thickness I'll use the elevation height. And I'll do that over here just by dragging and dropping this modifier onto the segment. 